Hello, this is Samsa again and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Continuing from where we left off last time, we were exploring the uh, the islands around here, like uh, Sandrith Mora, I believe. Uh, let me just quickly figure out the buttons again because I seem to have forgotten them. There we go. Uh, the problem when I play two kinds of RPGs where they have different kinds of buttons or button uh, sets is that uh, I, I keep messing them up. So we were exploring Sandrid Mora, we found an ancestral tomb, we also found uh, a dungeon around here. Now I'm going to go and um, you know check this side of the islands, maybe visit a couple, a couple of the smaller islands if I am inclined to do so. Um, but yeah, that's basically the general idea. I'm going to export the rest of Sundrid Mora. Once I'm done with that, we might head up to Mzuleft. I think uh, there is a boat that takes me there from here. So um, yeah, that's that's the current plan. Uh, once again, I'm going to do it the same way I did it before, where I just start walking around and once I find something interesting, I will let you guys know. So uh, I'll see you soon. It seems that we have found what I came looking for originally. Uh, not you, but you you may glitch there for a moment if you so desire. One day I have to say about this, like, going around on these islands in particular, Morrowind, even though it's a fairly old game, and like, I even, like, I don't have any kinds of mods installed. Uh, some people have recommended, like, various kinds of uh, mod packs, uh, texture packs, whatever. Uh, to make things uh, look a little bit uh, better. And I, I do appreciate that people go to the kinds of lengths they do to make an old game like this look better. But like, even, well obviously, I mean, the the, uh, the water looks a lot nicer than uh, in the original, I think, because they have a different kind of uh, water shader going on here. But, I mean, even, even though like, if it, it's, it still looks like a kind of nice game after all these years, I do have to say. Like, Morrowind, there are some areas in Morrowind, like the Ashlands. I don't really like the Ashlands a whole lot. Maybe it's because I live in Finland, where everything is a frozen wasteland of just gloomy darkness for, like, half a year. But, for example, the islands, like Sandrith Mora, even though this is basically just a whole bunch of rock and water, Though the water looks really nice. Kind of looks cool in a way. Anyway, let's figure out what is inside this boat, because this boat has crashed here. Strange shipwreck. Okay. Um, may I have this glass lantern for a minute? It's funny that it's still lit. And I'm not sure what that is supposed to mean. There we go. Okay. There's a small chest, a little bit of money. Not particularly... Oh! The Pig Children! By Tyson Bane. If you want to read, I will allow you to do so now. Well, that's a short book. Uh, wait for value 100. And I'm, I'm starting to consider that maybe that it's not worth carrying around. But I can drop it always, so I suppose there's that. So not much in here. This is the captain's cabin, I think. Okay, well let's uh, let's see what is below deck. There might be something more interesting in there. I'm going to be prepared for a fight, though. Oh, a rat! It seems that this rat has decided that it will not leave the ship. Apparently someone died here, but they had some coins, so at least there's that. And a whole bunch of shoes. I think uh, that was part of the cargo then. Maybe they were carrying shoes around. And this, I'm guessing, is the, the crew sort of quarters here. Something to sleep on, though sleeping on these would probably be really annoying, it's must be kinda annoying. Oh, but here's something, skooma. 
But it's necessarily possible that these guys were actually smuggling in some contraband, because Skuma is most definitely uh, a banned thing, banned substance. Portion of water breathing, that might be useful actually. Thanks for that. And there's even a lower deck. Let's go there. Ah, more... More rats. So Jama not interested. And... But if we find like... Um, yeah, I can take that. Marshmallow. Let's restore health. I might actually pick that up because I'm like I'm. I probably still cannot. Um, greater soul gem, value sixty. I mean the the value to weight ratio is really good. I'm not going to pick up the commons though. Yeah, like I'm. I'm going to if I find. Uh, ingredients that give like uh, oh there are shard bolts frost damage not particularly valuable but here's a steel frost sword it's a long blade one-handed um, so I think this is like a, based on the stats maybe like a long sword still long sword but it has the frost damage I'm going to pick that up. It's uh, valuable. Yeah, I'm not sure how good my alchemy is, but if I find stuff like restore health, I'm going to pick it up so that I can try and get restore health potions because restore health is like a very, very, very cool potion. Obviously, restore uh, magicka is the best potion for me because I can always cast healing. But sometimes in a fight, I don't necessarily want to cast uh, a healing spell. I want those spells to be used offensively. Okay, now that, that about wraps things up with this ship. I don't think there's anything else around here. Okay, and I am going to drop the lantern. I don't really need that. Plus, it's probably going to run out soon. It's not going to run out now because I dropped it, but... If I used it, it would probably run out. Uh, can I actually try to make the... Um, I'm gonna try and make myself a restore health potion. Because I have two wick weeds and I have two uh, marshmallow. I, I don't think I'm good enough. Well, I might as well cook up something else. I have some scuttle and I picked up some grab meat so I can get some restore fatigue potions done. Uh, is there anything else? Hound meat. No, I, I think hound meat. Uh... Wait. Restore fatigue, fortify fatigue. I can try to make this. It failed. Doesn't matter. And I have some sultries, but I don't think I have anything else to, you know, use with that. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna be done with that. But yeah, this, in case you were wondering, this is where the ship was. So if you end up playing this and, yeah, you know, I, I don't know, you might find this information useful. Not really a walkthrough of this one, but I am willing to offer advice if I have any. I sometimes, like, pre often I don't because I'm not particularly good at this game. I, I haven't played this game nearly as much as some people. We're going to run right past this because I don't feel like swimming. I'm a I'm a goddamn wizard. I can I'm allowed to cast some spells for my own personal benefit, even if that benefit is just a little bit more comfort. Okay, I am going to keep walking. So uh, once again, once I, uh, even like if I end up going back to Wolverine Hall. Then uh, I'm probably going to catch you up there, but if I find something else along the way, then um, then I'll definitely notify you about it because uh, that's the kind that's the idea here. So see you then. Well, it sure would seem like we have something. I think that is. Uh, I mean, is that Deirdrick? I think that might be Deirdrick. I like it's not Dwar like Dwemer, and there's a scamp running around, so. Pretty sure this is something pretty Deirdrick right here. 
Also, this camp is about to get punished for its you know, scamp skin, not, not interested. Yeah, I, I remember that there was a, a sort of a ruin around here, and I believe that is this is exactly that. Let's save before we do anything silly, because, uh, you know, silly things do happen sometimes. But so far it seems fairly safe, I see only scamps. So as long as it's just scamps, we're going to be fine. But if there is like an underground portion to that, that might actually be sort of off limits for a character of our caliber. Or it could be just scams, in which case, not a problem. Of course, now I need to keep in mind, because I, I have a two-handed sword, that I will end up taking more damage because I cannot block. I'm not sure how useful the shield came like earlier, but I I did block every now and then, so there is that. Now I won't be blocking anything, I think. Okay, you seem to be struggling a little bit. But like at this point my my sort of uh, combat doctrine is is changing to sort of uh, glass cannon-ish. Hang back if it's a big enemy and just stab it to death if it's something that is uh, more, you know, something that I can deal with without uh, without using magic. Okay, it's also getting a little bit dark. So figuring out the entrances. Oh, there is actually something there as well. Okay, there are enemies nearby figures. Can I get myself on a quick place where I can rest? There. Okay. And since we're... Okay. Can't rest enemies nearby. Going to rest a couple more hours if I can. Okay, there we go. Now it's once again bright and we can actually see things. So let's see if there is an entrance into this place. If there isn't, which is also possible, I don't think... All of these have like subterranean entrances. I think most of these do, but I'm I'm pretty sure there are at least some that don't. And if there is nothing like uh, subterranean around here, there is camp. Then uh, we have at least that one dungeon there to explore. It's probably going to be an ancestral tomb or something. I, I seem to be... I think I scared this camp by stepping on its head. It was actually pretty funny. I see this is uh, blocked off. There are a couple of other structures around here. I'm going to just take a like a quick look around this place. And then I'm going to check those smaller, uh, smaller structures, if I can speak. Then we're going to go there and check this. I'm pretty sure like this is the outer wall, so there isn't probably going to be an entrance around here. Does this place have like a marked uh, name? Yeah, see, not, I haven't seen anything on the map at least. I think the entrances are marked. It doesn't seem like there is much here. Could be that this is just something that is just around here and it's not actually something you can get inside. But then again, those smaller structures, maybe they have an entrance. It's still a nice place to, you know, take a look. Even though we are, uh, you know, more of a tourist and less of an explorer at this point. point but, uh, you know, why can't, wh why can't we be both? Sometimes an explorer, sometimes a bit of a tourist. Okay, let's go check out these structures. Africa. Let's avoid, however, um, I'm actually going to drink a potion because I don't want to wait for that fatigue to go up. And I have a skill at uh, creating these restore fatigue potions, so I can, I can drink some of them. They're fairly easy to make. 
There is a slaughter fish in there. So that's probably something we'll going, we're going to have to deal with. Come here, slaughter fish. There we go. Did you finally realize that I was here? Come back, would you? There we go. Oh, now you brought a friend. That's freaking annoying. Do, do I need to cast my greater shock ball to get rid of you? Ah, frick. Die. Thank you. Um, nothing here. Let's check the other structure. Nothing here as well. At least as far as I can see. Might be missing something, but it's, so far it seems that there is just not a whole lot going with this one. There is that uh, that potential ancestral tomb around, so we're going to go and check that out for maybe a more concrete reward for our exploration. I see a slaughterfish. Guess what? I am not even going to care. I don't want to fight a slaughterfish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run across. Pretty sure they can attack you while you just water walk, but uh, I mean, just don't want to deal with the whole swimming thing. This is actually Sultris right here. Oh, hello. Hey, come. Down. 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 Oh, what? There's a skeleton right there? Is this like a... Are you are you working with the the annoying Okay. You're you're starting to annoy me, skeleton. And you too. You know what? You know what? I am I am done with your nonsense. Have a little bit of magic there, would you? I am just absolutely done with that kind of nonsense. Okay, going to rest until healed, because these people just decided to waste my time, and for some reason I just couldn't get a single hit in with my sword. But yeah, I think that about wraps things up with the... Yep, this is an ancestral tomb, as I figured. Usually a skeleton outside a dungeon is a pretty straightforward, you know, giveaway of the situation inside the dungeon. Yeah, let's figure this one out. Maybe we'll find something. Because Ancestral Tombs can be nice. Usually the, they are sort of low risk, low reward things. Okay. Hello there. Are you struggling? Okay, um, ouch. Wanna get closer so that I can stab you? There we go. Okay, a Daedra's Heart. Restore Magicka. Well, that might be useful, but I, I'm pretty sure I cannot uh, actually... Cannot actually make a potion out of that because my potion making skill is pretty poor. It's a very mole crab helmet. Not uh, particularly useful. Uh, let's uh, open up this thing. Okay, I hear more nastiness from that direction, so we're going to go and check out this side first. Anything here? Not really. A trapped door. 
I'll have my heart heal ready. Okay, what did that do? It's a silence trap. Well, that's not all that bad. I'm gonna switch back to greater shock ball and the silence will go away soon. Okay. I seem to be punching this guy quite well, but he looks pretty angry. Didn't expect someone like you. Apparently that was Dromora. They had a Dwarven Spear. Ruan value, 14 weight, I can carry that around. And a Daedra's Heart. I think that was a Daedra creature. Because they had a Daedra's Heart. They also kind of vanished when I eventually... Uh, killed them with my sword. Steel right gauntlet and an iron right pauldron. Heavy equipment, not really worth it for me. And this was just bone meal, like every other one of those. Steel boots, imperial steel, left gauntlet. So basically just a whole lot of heavy equipment. I mean, if you are... Oh, cheap potion of rising force, levitate. If you are a person that, you know, uses heavy equipment, then this dungeon seems to be up your alley, but for me, not really. I'm going to rest. I was going to waste my um, my magic card on healing. I suppose I could use my items, like I have multiple items that allow me to heal, including my sword, actually, which has uh, restore health. I think it only does that for a short period of time, but it does restore my health points. Okay. Anything else around here? Maybe jewelry? Or a sword. It's an iron claymore. One blade, two-handed. Really heavy, not all that like uh, valuable, so we're not going to pick that up. Seems that this one goes on for a bit. Usually... Yeah, it seems that this has sort of... Uh, can I actually get a better look at this? I don't think I have any... Actually, I do have torches. Nordic battle axes. Two-handers, but once again, high weight, low value. Seems that this place has sort of been um, dug into. So I think this might be an, some sort of an ed, like a Daedric infestation of a tomb. We're going to definitely take a look because this is unusual. This is unlike other um, ancestral tombs. But this might actually turn out pretty badly. Luckily, I saved there, so you know. But luckily, what am I talking about? I'm no, I'm not in any kind of current danger, so I could save right here. But you know, I'm, I, I, I saved because I'm thinking that this might go wrong. Keeps, keeps on going. Yeah. Well, okay. This, this has turned into an interesting dungeon so far. This is most definitely more interesting than the other. Ancestral tombs, which are, like I said, low risk, low reward types of things. This one seems to be maybe higher risk. At least it's longer. So, uh, but I mean, so far I haven't run into anything that is too scary. But it seems to be going, so not sure what I'm going to run into. I'm going to say once again. Am I still in the Ancestral Tomb? I'm most definitely not. It's like, it says that I'm in the Ancestral Tomb, but I'm pretty sure this was not part of the original design. I feel like I may have stumbled upon some sort of a Daedric Shrine. Is there, is there anyone alive around here? Someone that wants to be... Okay, there is something down there. But I seem to be okay for the moment. 
I'm going to be crouching so that I can be a little bit stealthy. It's not going to protect me for long. Yep, that looks uh, that looks very, very, very angry. Okay, it seems to want to cast stuff. Uh, I can cast stuff too, you know. Target resisted magic. Does it resist all kinds of magic? Maybe if I throw a fireball at it. Okay, that seems to work. It's not doing a whole lot of damage though. Maybe it was a one-off? It might be that it just doesn't care about my shock balls. Yeah, it resists that. I think this is a case of uh, me having to use my fireball magic for now. And I seem to be taking damage as well, so it might actually reflect some of that. I am not currently willing to go um, headfirst into that. Do I want to... I think I'm just going to cheese it. I mean, at least I want to take it down to low enough health. That uh, I can punch it a couple of times, well, swing my sword at it a couple of times and be done with it. Like, as long as it's stuck where it is, I am going to fully abuse this. Okay, it seems to be on pretty low health though. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go full force on this attack. It seems to be only reflecting every now and then. I wonder if I reflect a reflect. I wonder if it works like that. Because I, I think my sword can reflect magic. Has like some sort of a magical protection, I think. Yeah, reflect 5 to 20% for 30 seconds. So if I reflect a reflect, does that uh, then uh, mean uh, the attack is bounced back? Who, who knows? Who knows? Now, now, the question is, how do I get down there without uh, causing massive problems for myself? Suppose I can jump down here. Okay. Not sure what I killed either, so, you know, there's that. So let's figure out what we killed. Let's avoid jumping down into the pit while we do this. I'm actually going to... Uh, do I still have my torch? I think my torch ran out. But yeah, obviously what, what this means, because this, this guy just said, like, this guy was very resistant. Yeah, a storm atronarch that explains why I was, uh, why my shock attacks were being uh, resisted. It's obviously resistant to that kind of stuff. So that means I just need to... I need more. I need to add more variety to my um, my offensive spells, particularly the ones that I can use from a distance. Steel shard sword, long blade, one-handed, frost damage. Once oh, this, isn't this the same as uh, my frost blade? It is pretty much the same thing. Same condition, pretty much the same value. I think it is the same thing. Then I have a Ring of Wounds. I think I already have one of those. Yes. Corpse Preparation Volume 1, and there are two of them. There is, however, a book that I am not sure if I've read. It's a very short book, but I'm going to keep that. Uh, Restore Attribute Endurance. An ancient Daedric key. I think the um, the plot thickens. Also, what am I taking? I'm taking shock damage. Just a little bit of shock damage. Makes sense, considering... Oh, hello there, update manager. Thanks for the updates. I don't really need them. I cannot stop the update manager from doing that, so you're going to have to deal with it, just as I do. Okay. Going to save here. 
because we've we seem to have made some progress. Now the question is, is there more? Let's jump down and find out, shall we? If I can just find a spot for me to jump down. Actually, maybe I should check. Ah, yes, there is a ramp. There is a ramp up. Which means that going in here is safe. 